Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas at the 51st Bassmasters Classic. There is no more important bass fishing tournament in the world than this, and we're here because no organization has made greater inroads into boating safety than Bassmasters. And there's an enormous amount of experience from the benefits of those safety procedures from the likes of Hunter Bland, who I'm with today. Now, Hunter, before I knew you, there was a viral video of you on TV in a very dramatic boating situation. Tell me about that. Yes, sir, we were actually fishing a collegiate tournament, rolling down the river, and what happens is my hydraulic steering comes apart. That causes the boat to do a violent 90 degree turn, and my partner Connor and I are ejected. And from that point forward, it honestly changed my life. From that day of my accident, you know, I knew and I felt led that I needed to help people with this video. And I didn't know what it could do, but I decided to put it on YouTube, and I woke up the next morning, it had 100,000 views. Within a week, it had almost a million. And so that, propelled me into a career in boating safety and now I get to speak all over the country and fish for Bassmaster and I'm so thankful for people like Yamaha and Skeeter and the rest of my partners that allow me to advocate for boating safety and help truly make the waterways a safer place. Well Hunter that's a great safety message and it's especially well illustrated with your experience. We had a chance to talk to Hunter's colleague anglers to get their reactions to the safety measures taken by Bassmasters. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week when I'm on the water because I spend 300 days a year on the water and I do I never leave the dock without it hooked up. So I had to use it once. Uh, you know, we have hot foot pedals in these boats, in these high performance boats. I had a water bottle that actually was lodged in behind my hot foot. It was stuck against the hot foot and the hot when I went to let off my hot foot, the boat was still going. And I was still running 60 something miles an hour. I was headed straight into a cove. It was starting to neck down. So instead of trying to turn, potentially running the bank, I just yanked my kill switch and I glided into that cove. And it could have turned out bad. And if it wasn't for that, you know, that safety lanyard, it, it saved a pretty serious accident from happening. Probably last year, I was out on the lake and a, and a guy had got thrown out, didn't have the lanyard on, and his boat was going around and around and around. Thankfully, it didn't hit him. And, and another boat was able to rush over there grab the guy out of the water. Uh, but yeah, that, that boat was just, I mean, it's a ticking time bomb out there going in circles. So for me, you know, regardless of, of how the day fishing goes, the ultimate goal is to get back home to your family. So I've always wore one my entire life. It should always be a law. My daddy got in a bad boat accident about six years ago. And if it wouldn't have been for that, it, it would have been bad. Okay, so we were on the St. Lawrence River and I had a piece of line actually get around the spring and the foot pedal. So when I pushed down, somehow it locked the pedal down. So, and I was trying to go into a bait stop and I noticed I wasn't slowing down. So the first reaction was just pull the kill switch and pulled it, it did its job. We stopped, I got a little bit of wet, but everything was fine. Had some really good friends where it has saved their lives. Mainly that's the example. When you see one person that they, they were not wearing their safety lanyard, it'll make you wear it forever. I mean, it happens in a blink of an eye, so no matter what the speed is, you've got to be prepared. Few organizations have done more for boating safety than BASS. We applaud them and guys like Hunter Bland for telling their story about boating safety and especially about wearing your engine cutoff switch link. It's not just the rules, it's now federal law. I'm Randy Vance in Fort Worth at the 51st Bassmaster Classic. <laughs>